Quilters. Welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks for joining us today. I was reading the comments in the comments section and Joe was telling me we have 15 seconds. I barely made it. All right, Emily's in the house. How are you, my friend? Doing great, thanks. Okay, listen, I am so proud of Emily. She has news. I do. Okay, okay. you want to show us? You ready to see it? Yes, okay. I'm super excited to see that. So I have someone in my life that is a particular fan of Harry Potter. Besides Erica. Yes, yeah. so I decided to make him a oven mitt, and this is my first oven mitt Look at ever. Look that Quilters, I have not finished it yet, so yes. please don't come for me. <laughs> don't come for Emily, leave her alone. <laughs> but we're gonna add, we're gonna add the seams, we're gonna add a little loop, so. Yes. But this is the bare bones of it, and I'm so happy Isn't with that it. so cute? So oh, fun. congratulations, good job, Emily. <laughs> All right, I'm proud of you for doing that. And that's part of our bundle today, right? With the, because we're gonna talk about the mitten dye, right? We sure are, yeah. We've still got that great warm hands, warm hearts bundle with the oven mitt, the mitten, the insel bright, which, you know, you wanna use that with that oven mitt right. so it protects you from heat. And uh, that bundle's just $149.99 today. That's the introductory rate. Great way to start the show. Yeah, absolutely. All right, where is everyone watching from today? And thank you all for your th happy Thanksgiving wishes. Um, we have Crystal from Wayne, West Virginia, and Ellen from Fort Collins, Colorado, and Sue from Wichita, Kansas. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you as well. All right, so why don't we shine a light on our new projects from our opening video. First, we have Barbara C. Okay, this is so cute. It has the dog and the gnome, and there's a little gnome mess in there. Oh, how Do you see her with the little braids? Yes. This is a free pattern. <coughs> Excuse me, at AccuQuilt.com. It's super cute. Good job, Barbara. Oh, sweet. Love the colors. All right, next up is Shannon N. Look at this, Emily. Is it so pretty? Wow. She used her cube. And she, I love the cornerstones, which are those tiny little nine patches. Absolutely. They just really add just a sweet little extra something on there. Oh, Shannon, it's beautiful. I wonder if it's a gift. Well done, Shannon. All right, and finally, we have the stunning quilt by Twyla B. Okay, Emily, do you know which two dyes she used here? Okay, I think I'm seeing Storm at Sea. You are. And then, is that the Mariner's Compass in there the in middle. the middle? Yes. Awesome. And I've never seen those two bob dyes together, so great job, Twyla. And they kept on theme, too. You kind of got the yes. Mariner and the Sea. I just the love whole that. whole water thing. Absolutely. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the colors. The colors are stunning. Mm -hmm. Quilters, if you would like to have your finished projects featured on our show, post an image. You can do it on any of our social media platforms, and we will pull from there and, and uh, post it. Today is about the Go Mitten Dye, which is our newest applique shape. And look how cute, all right? So many cute things on our set today. So here is my photo of the day. This is, okay, AccuQuilt calls it something else. I call it Pam's Pickup. <laughs> I think it's called just the Go Pickup Truck. It is my absolute favorite applique shape. When I first started working at AccuQuilt, I really wanted a pickup truck dye. And when this one came out, yeah, I, I was just thrilled. So the question of the day that Emily's gonna talk about is, which Go applique dye is your favorite? Because the mitten is our newest one, which one is your favorite? Emily, do you have a favorite applique you know, shape? That is so hard, because we have hundreds. Yeah, we have dozens and dozens of Yeah, just dozens yeah. of shapes. I'd say probably the flamingo because I love how you can make it multi-seasonal. You can yes. really, you know, you can put a little hat on him for Christmas like yes. you guys demonstrated the yeah. other day. It can be spring, summer. I just love him. The flamingo love was a really huge popular dye. Absolutely. And we had a whole big thing where you could name our flamingo. Did you work for us when we named our flamingo? I did. Lulu, yeah, Lulu is, Lulu is, is our flamingo at the zoo. Sweet. Yeah. All right, we have a great promo today as we get ready for Thanksgiving. It is 10% off your order of over $24 because it's the 24th. And that will take 37% off already marked down prices on our website. The code you want to use is JOLLY, J-O-L-L-Y 10. And Emily, is this true? We're giving away double reward points all day? That is true, yes. Wow, so think about that, Quilters. Place your orders in, get that great discount, and double reward points. Love that. All right, the dye to try for November is actually one of my favorite Bob dyes. This is the Go Carpenter's Wheel dye. 
and it is available again today. It's the diet to try for the month of November, so this is the last show we're gonna talk about it. Mm -hmm. But Emily, it still has its introductory price, right? Yeah, the price is gonna be $129.99, but we do have pretty low inventory. We have so really low inventory. Yeah, so if you're looking to get in. one, get them before they're gone, because once they're gone, we won't have new shipments until the new year, right? Absolutely. Yeah, well, this is the diet to try it, so after November, it's over. And right? we still have that Go Big starter pack that involves the Carpenter's Wheel. Um, so if you get, it includes the Go Big, the Carpenter's Wheel, as well as the 10 by 24 cutting mat. Okay. The, the cutter itself is usually $699.99. Right. This whole bundle is $649.99. That's a great deal. Fabulous. So if you're thinking about upgrading to Go Big, because that's what you should do. Mm -hmm. All right, today I'm going to give away one of our Go Mitten dies. Be sure to share this video in your personal Facebook page for the chance to win. Emily's going to announce the winner at the end of our show. This is such a cute little project. All right, today I'm going to show you how to make a block for the Go Peppermint Twirl wall hanging. It is the wall hanging behind me. I'll move so um, Justin can get a great shot of that. For this project, you're going to need the six inch cube and the companion angles plus the six inch setting triangles and the go mitten die. Now the go mitten die, like we said, is part of the bundle with the oven mitt, so you should be sure and get that. Yep. And all those other projects are, are um, items are on sale, right? Emily, they're all 37% off. Yep, absolutely. Awesome. That's this great. is a great day to get those <laughs> kind of things. Okay, so we're gonna start by opening up the cube and showing you what's inside. All right, Emily, as I'm getting ready to open this up, what are people's favorite applique shapes? Absolutely. Well, and Peggy was curious where my Harry Potter fabric came on. Am I allowed to, to disclose or should I put that, should I have? You uh, should just chat that to I her. should just chat. I think I'll send you a message there, Peggy. Yeah. Um, and then uh, let's see, oh, Pamela says the gnome is her favorite. The gnome is so cute. Ellen agrees that the pickup truck, Pam's pickup truck, yep. absolute favorite. Yep, I love it. It's so fun. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about the cube system. So remember, we have six different sizes of cubes. Four, six, eight, nine, 10, and 12. Look at me knowing all of those. <laughs> the shapes are the same in every cube. They're just different sizes, okay? So um, this is the shapes from the six inch cube. Here's my big tip of the day. Emily, do you know why I pull the skinny one first? Because that way, you know, you're gonna, not going to break a nail yes. when you're trying to bring out everything else. Yes, that is exactly right. Out nice and easy. And inside our little um, pocket here, we have a um, mat. Ooh, which, oh, Joe already pulled me two mats. Um, a mat and a pattern book. Okay. So it already comes with a mat. People ask us that all the time. All right. So I'm going to pull these out. Now, quilters, um, this is a question we get quite a bit is how should I store my dies? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move my little water here. Um, you wanna store your dies like this, like books in a shelf. You want them to stack this way. You don't wanna stack them one on top of each other. The weight of the dies on top will damage the blades of the dies on bottom, okay? So remember, all the shapes are the same. The thing to remember about the cube system is that it is based on a four patch system, okay? Shape number one in every cube is a square. In this case, four of those squares sewn together will make a six inch finished block. Don't think, oh, I'm getting the six inch cube. It's gonna cut six inch blocks. There's some sewing involved, okay? All right, so shape number one in every cube is a square. Shape number two in every cube are smaller squares. And there's actually four on this die board. There's a blade here and a blade here in the center. And this is the one of the dies that I need for our project today. So I'm gonna just keep it out. Perfect. Shape number three in every cube are half square triangles. And these are big half square triangles. Now, Emily, what's important about our half square triangles? What if we cut off here? Oh my gosh, those dog ears are gone. Those so dog ears are gone, it. right? <laughs> so from this point here to this point here, is that perfect quarter inch seam allowance. And quilters ask me all the time, should I sew a quarter inch seam? Should I score, sew a scant quarter inch seam, seam? The answer is you want to sew a quarter inch seam. All right, so shape number three, my favorite shape. Now shape number four in every cube are quarter square triangles. I'm gonna give you a little tip here, quilters. You want to treat quarter square triangles like 
quarter square triangles. Sometimes I've seen quilters take two of these shapes, Emily, and sew them together to make a square and treat them like half square triangles. But what's wrong with that is that lengthwise green is wrong, okay? So there are four on this die board and we've cut off the dog ears right across here. This is that quarter inch seam. Okay. So make sure you're te uh, treating your quarter square triangles like quarter square triangles. All right, so those are the first four shapes in every cube. And then here we go. And the cool thing about the cube system is all the pockets are numbered and they have a diagram of what shape it is. All the dies are numbered. So you can put things back where they belong. There's a concept in our sewing room. <laughs> okay, shape number five in every single cube are smaller half square triangles. So in every cube, there's big squares and little squares, big half square triangles and small half square triangles. There's actually four on this die board. Sometimes quilters think, oh, I will never sew those. Those are so small, I will never cut shape number five. But actually shape number five is kind of our workhorse die. So we're gonna use it quite a bit mm -hmm. and it's gonna allow other shapes to become new shapes, okay? And I'm gonna need it for my project. So I'm gonna pull shape number five. Now shape number six is not just a square, but it's a square and point. Now, Emily, you're new to quilting. Do you know what a square and point is? So instead of being your typical, you know, parallel lines, it's, it's gonna be on point. So the points are up and down yes. and left and right. Like a little ballerina, it's gonna yeah. stand on its tippy toes, right? <laughs> And you want to make sure that you recognize that it's a square on point because the math is different, right, right to right. do that. Now, the shape you're going to need on the outside of this to make this famous block square and a square is actually going to be shape number five. Okay. okay. So shape number six, square on point. Shape number seven in every cube is this shape. These are parallelograms. Emily, do you know there's... Um, a kind of a fun fact about parallelograms, it's really important when you're cutting them. This is what we call a directional die. Oh, okay. okay. So okay. if you want all your parallelograms to go the same direction, all the fabric needs to face up. But if you want them to go opposite directions, you're fan folding your fabric. Oh, sure. So if you're ever making a block with a parallelogram, you wanna make sure you make a test block. Absolutely. Okay. Shape number eight in every cube are rectangles, all right? And there are two on this die board. So these are the basic eight geometric shapes that you're gonna use in your um, quilting. Now, we not only have our cubes, but we have companions. So the cube system together makes 72 mix and match patterns. Those are free downloadable patterns from AccuQuilt.com. And then we have two companion sets. We have corners and angles, and we need to use angles today. So each companion set also adds an additional 72 mix and match patterns. Mm -hmm. So by the time you get them all, you will have 216 mix and match patterns. They're free downloadable from AccuQuilt.com. Man, so, just amazing, all right? And the same, the same shapes, right, in all six cubes. All right, so we're gonna open it up we're gonna pull the skinny one first. It's gonna have a mat and a pattern book. And we're gonna open this one up. Put them all the way here. So I have a little room here. And Pam, as I, as I recall, I believe all these six inch cubes and companions are on, on sale today as well. They are part of the 37% off. Yippee. Do you have some pricing on that? I sure do. Yeah. The six inch cube itself is usually $249. Okay. With that extra 10 discount comes all the way down to $157.50. Uh, That's great. The companion sets with those discounts come down to $100.80 each. Perfect. And the four, six, eight, and nine inch cubes are all the same price. They sure are. And they'll all fit through your Go Me. Yes, they will. Pretty cool. And if you spend three fifty dollars or more today, you'll get a Go Me for free. Oh, wow, look at that. See, look at us. <laughs> look at us, helping you have a wonderful holiday season. All right, the next two shapes in the cube, oh, sorry, um, work together. This is the companion set angles. It has the two shapes to make triangle in a square which is really a fun, fun block. Now, shape number 14, this one you wanna make sure you fan fold back and forth the fabric because then you will have a left and a right 
If you have them all facing up, they'll only have left. Oh, yeah, I, I know. You'll be cranky. <laughs> okay. Ask me how I know that. Okay. <laughs> then shape number um, 15 in our companion set angles is this. This is our kite shape. This is a great um, scrap busting die. If you could use it in the six and the eight inch cubes, um, they're just really fun to bust up all your little scraps and bust up your stash. And then the last shape in our companion set angles is this shape. And this is a trapezoid shape. And two are on this die board and we need them both for our project. So look at us. Fabulous. All right, now I'm gonna move all this stuff over here because I've made now a huge mess. All right, Emily, before we start cutting some fabric, tell us what people are, what's their favorite applique shape? Absolutely. So um, I, we've got a, a vote from Kat for the flamingo. Flamingos. Um, Steve says the cat is probably the favorite. Oh, there you go. Uh, Ruth loves the holiday medley. Holiday medley is really fun because it has the tree and the snowflakes. Yeah, you can do so much with it going into the holidays. And uh, Tina loves the owl and the funky flower. Oh, so the owl dye is really so fun because you can take, there's a free pattern we have at AccuQuilt.com called Talk to the Animals. And you can take the owl dye and make them into nine different animals. It's really cute. Oh, how cute is that? I know. So, so versatile. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna cut some fabric. We're gonna lay out our fabric. And I've kind of pre-cut the fabric. You wanna make sure that um, you follow the instructions to do that, okay? Mm -hmm. So these are for my mittens. I love this um, fabric, okay? So this is for my trapezoid shape. And I'm going to have all my fabric facing up mm -hmm. and these are my half square triangles right here. So I'm gonna use my white. And then when I get to this one right here, this is shape number two. These are my cute little squares. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna talk about this for just a second. Quilters ask us all the time, why is this shape at an angle? Okay, right? right? So this is, there are no blades in the cutter. This is a steel blade right here. There are actually four of them. No, right, one, two. There are blades in here. I'm not gonna count them, right? It's that question of like how many squares is in the square. Sure. Um, so you wanna make sure that the lengthwise grain is going through the cutter like this, right? And this is a blade. So if it was straight on the die board, every single time that blade would hit our steel rollers in our cutters, you'd get this jarring effect. Like um, when you hit a speed bump with both wheels, but what happens if you hit a speed bump with just one wheel at a time, right? It's gonna be much smoother and easier as it goes through. Mm -hmm. So when you lay your fabric on the die board, you wanna follow the subcutting instructions and then you just want to lay it over the shape, mm -hmm. okay? If this was my fabric, you don't wanna lay it up here all over the die board because then you're gonna waste fabric, right. okay? We don't want you to waste fabric. There we go. So that's a question we get all the time. I tell quilters, the label of the die at your belly, lengthwise grain. So as it goes through the cutter, um, it's nice and tight. Perfect. Right? Actually, Just, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Karen actually asked that same question. Should the cutting edge face out or the back or does it matter? Um, okay, I'm gonna tell you it doesn't matter, but I always tell quilters, label at your belly so that you remember that lengthwise grain, sure. okay? so. Here, look, see, look, lots of stretch right here. Mm -hmm. This is nice and tight. High and tight is what you want, okay? This is the lengthwise screen. If I still had my salvage edge, the salvage edge would be parallel to these lengthwise blades, Perfect. okay? Now, this is my favorite trick. This is why Joe got us two mats today, um, because I have a go big. Look at this. So if you own the go big, you can cut two dies in one pass. Now remember the go big has a variety of dies that are built just for the go big, but you can run two six inch dies through in one pass. Okay, look how fast that is. <laughs> it's my favorite trick. Hold on, I get I, I'm gonna do this one. Okay. 
Yeah, and it's so fun because we've got, we, we do, we have so many bundles for the go big. If, if you know, the mitten and, and the oven mitt are something you're looking at, um, we do have another bundle with the go big, the oven mitt, mitten, uh, called the In Good Hands Starter Pack. Oh, yes. That is also $649.99. Such great prices here today. So good. Okay. All right. And notice quilters, I gave it a little love and slid that mat off because look, static. This is what happens. Mm -hmm. All the mats for days. Now that my pieces are cut, I'm gonna lay out my shapes. So here's the finished block that I'm gonna make. And this is just the block that you're gonna make over and over and over in the uh, pattern. We're gonna turn it on point like this. Well, that'd be cute. Cause then it really does look like peppermint candy, okay? Mm -hmm. So I already have some pieces um, cut out, but we're gonna lay them out. And while I lay them out, don't forget to share, cause I'm gonna give away one of our mitten dies today um, to one lucky winner. Emily's gonna announce it at the end of the show. So I'm gonna do four, cause you need four blocks, all right? And Emily, while I'm laying out my pieces, sure. do you wanna, I'm gonna chain piece, okay? Love that. So I'm gonna lay these right here. And then, here we go. So I make sure I'm doing this right. I'm gonna lay all my squares here. While I lay this out, um, I'm gonna chain piece. And Emily, will you tell us what people's favorite Ab die is? Absolutely. Um, so Carol loves the dinosaur die so much that she's done five dinosaur quilts for her great grandchildren. Oh my goodness. That is so fun. And I, I don't know why I forget about this one, but Esther loves the umbrella die. And that is such a oh, cool Oh, yes, by Adida Sitar. That one's so pretty. It really, really is. And Bonnie loves the rustling leaves. Very appropriate for fall. Yes, this time of year. Absolutely. Oh, and then Julia loves Sunbonnet Sue and Sam. Oh. Okay, I don't know their relationship, but they're always together. They really so are. So I feel like that's what you, if you're getting one today, you should get them all. Absolutely. Them and both. I love the embroidery files to go along with them. They've right. got like the patriotic, they've got the Christmas time, they've got Valentine's, they've just got all the seasons. All the along things. With them. So cute. Okay, so when I talk about how we can chain piece blocks, this is one that is total chain piecing. Okay. I wonder how I always, I always wonder how much shorter I get when I take my shoe off there. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So um, I do not have my press, um, my walking foot engaged. That's always the question people seem to ask me. Um, the reason is because, hold on here, I just wanna make sure I'm doing this right. Um, the reason is, is because it's just cotton fabric. Okay, it's not, I don't, it's not heavy. All right, so I'm just gonna put right sides together, do that quarter inch seam, and I'm gonna chain piece all of my pieces. It will be amazing how fast I can sew this block together. Love that. Okay, Emily, so do we have other questions? Yeah, um, we do definitely have some favorites. Oh, um, she actually is one, uh, Liz has a question about Liz. the cubes in their companion sets. Okay, let's see if we can answer it. Do you recommend, she has the eight and 12 inch cubes in their companions. Okay. She's wondering which size cube would increase her inventory the best. Oh, so Emily, that's a great question for you. What would you think? Oh gosh, if you've got the eight and the 12. Right. I believe is it the four or the yeah, six? I would also? get the four. Yeah, because I think the four is going to work with both the eight and the twelve. They if are. I'm remembering that correctly. Right. And that way you'd have a really good selection of sizes if you're, you know, doing some smaller blocks with the four. Oh yes. The eight, the twelve. I think that would be a great, great. And idea. they're all on sale today at thirty-seven percent off. I know. So that's a great deal. It really, really is. Yeah, that'd be a fabulous idea. Um, Joanna says that she loves the camper die. There you go. Well. Hey, Justin, can I get it? Oh, Justin is already here with a really great shot. Notice, quilters, we've cut off the dog ears. So look how that piece just lays right where it's supposed to lay. Oh, my gosh. That's just great. Now that I've stopped sewing, i got to do this. I like the camper die as well. You can pull it with Pam's pickup truck. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's like the second favorite. <laughs> we've already had the camping dis discussion about how I don't camp. <laughs> So we talk about that quite a bit. Oh, I, I camp at a Hilton. 
Absolutely. are merrily. Yeah, I, yeah. Like we talked about this, I went glamping. I don't, I don't do yeah. glamping. We do glamping. <laughs> yeah. It's just well, not happening in my in my life. Absolutely, absolutely. I like a nice bed. All right. What else are people? What are their favorites that we're seeing here? Yes. Um, let's see. Sherry says uh, the chicken rooster, bear, and moose. Oh, right. We don't talk about that one very often. We really don't. But I, yeah, that is just such a fun one. And then the oh, Karen loves the horse from the Western Medley dye with unicorn embroidery. Yes, five dollars from our good friends at V Stitch. I think that is just the coolest thing. They really just take the dyes and turn them into a whole new possibility. It's just oh, so our good friends fun. at V Stitch—they're so fun. They are really great. I um when that came out, so I kind of knew about the embroidery file because you know I got to test the dye. Mm -hmm. And man, I was making unicorns for days. And I couldn't really say, you know, I couldn't post anything because it hadn't been released yet. But right. I was in Seattle at So Expo when they released the dye. And boy, everybody in the world was like, oh, you know, it's not really for me. I'm like, no, you can make unicorns. <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay. Absolutely. And okay, so now I'm pressing my seams open. Okay. And speaking of embroideries, Pam, um, yes. Patty's wondering if there's a tutorial on how to use the embroidery files. Is there a tutorial on how to? Yes. I believe so. Every time we launch an embroidery or an applique shape, the lovely Erica, is that not right, Joe? Yeah, the lovely Erica makes a video that says, here's how you do the embroidery. And what you need to know is what system does your embroidery machine use? So we here at AccuQuilt, we have a baby lock, and it uses P-E-S, which stands for Pam Enjoys Sewing. <laughs> it's the only way I can remember it, okay? So P-E-S, but different machines have different embroidery system files, sure. and we have all of those, and they're just free downloadable, and the lovely Erica will show you how to do it. So absolutely. Yeah. All right, and these videos that we do here on Wednesdays and Tuesdays, they live on our Facebook and YouTube pages, yeah. okay? So now, um, I already changed stitched them, but now you can see how I've sewn the little trapezoid to the shape number five, okay? Nice, Brock already had my little graphic up there, <laughs> and I was already chain piecing. And again, we're gonna need uh, four partial units. Mm -hmm. So hey, join us quilters on Friday at 12 noon central time. The lovely Eric and I will be here for a special show, Friday, November 26th, 12 noon central time. Mm -hmm. And then Erica and I will be here on Tuesday, November 30th, which is my Ray's birthday. Um, for 12 noon central time for gift of giving, it's we're celebrating Giving Tuesday. And you can register for all those shows to win prizes, which is so fun. Okay, so now I've done these pieces here. Okay, so now I'm going to finish these little blocks here. Okay. So sweet. I, it's just such a fun little project. Okay, so I've done them here on this side. So now I'm gonna do them on this side. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna sew those together, right? You know what I like about this so much, Pam, too, is that the color scheme is so whimsical. It's not your traditional Christmas, no. you know, it's, 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 it's not Christmas red -esque. and green. It's, exactly. It's holiday esque, but it's not, you know, it doesn't scream holiday, which is no, it perfect. doesn't. And you can totally change the colorway of this using our go quilt program, which is a free tutorial on our website. What a great segue into that. I actually used go quilt uh, the other day to create my oven mitt. See, that thing is a great, it really it's, is a great program because then I, I uploaded all of my fabric. I oh, uploaded, yes. You know, you got to see how it would look exactly yes. as it would be before you even, you know, stitch one right. time. And it has a great <laughs> tutorial on it and it's just great. And I think Justin here on our team, he made this great video on Go Quilt. Absolutely. We're just, we're just a really productive group here <laughs> on the events teams. Holy smokes. We do have a day job. People ask me that all the time. They're like, so like when you're not doing shows, do you just get to sit around and sew? And, and the answer to that is no, I have a day job <laughs> that allows me to do lots of great things. But 
none of which includes, well, I sew projects and step ups for all of our live shows and events. All right, Emily, while I'm doing this, tell us what are people's favorite applique shapes because I'm excited to hear these. Absolutely. Uh, ooh, the owl and owl accessory. Yes. That's a cutie. Um, we've got another butterfly vote, which I absolutely love. Ooh, the Scotty dog. And the Scotty dog. Oh, he's so cute. He's very fun. He also has some really fun for purchase embroidery files, but his his free ones are darling as well. Absolutely. Yeah, Vicki says um, she's made a table runner, dish towels, tree ornaments, all made of gnome for the holidays. Oh, there you go. Share them with us on our Facebook page. We'd love to show them. Absolutely. I would love to see those. All right, so quilters ask me all the time, is AccuQuilt better than rotary cutting? Okay, did you see how fast it took me to cut out all of our shapes? You would still be cutting half square triangles because to cut half square triangles, you have to cut a strip and then you have to cut squares and then you have to trim them down and it just takes so long. Or you can just put fabric on a die. Right. And I want you to know quilters, never in my whole life of quilting of 23 years, um, have I ever cut a trapezoid without a die? Mm. I don't know if I know how to do that, okay? So don't forget our promo today. Take 10% off your order of $24 or more, 37% 37 off. The code is JOLLY10, plus double reward points. And you can use those reward points for um, future purchases. Absolutely. All right, so here we go, quilters. We're just gonna sew all our blocks together. Don't forget to share. I'm gonna give away one of our go mitten dies today. I did not do a really good quarter inch seam there. I'm gonna fix this. Um, Emily's gonna announce the winner at the end of the show. I love our go mitten. I made Emily, my Emily, Mason's Emily, um, a, that little garland that we had when we had the launch. Yes. Yes, with all the little things you could do for good deeds and stuff. Absolutely. And send it to Mason and Emily for their apartment in L.A. Oh, how okay, sweet. So look at this. All right. So I'm going to do all of these things, and you can just sit almost there. Rock almost. Okay, so I'm going to sew these together, and they're going to work great. I'm excited about this. I love this. Now, so it was really fast. I cut it out of felt and just used um, ribbon for the garland. Oh my gosh, how fun. Yeah, it went together so fast. Oakley, help me. I have kind of an interesting question for you. For okay, me. I have an answer. For Miss Robin. Hi, Robin. What are the best cubes to buy that go with the most bobs? She has oh. a lot of bobs. <clears throat> oh, that is a good question. That's a great question. I guess maybe we would might, might need to know some of the bobs that she has to really suggest because they all finish at different sizes. Okay, just sit here because right here on the wall are all of the bobs. Yeah, so let's check them out, shall we? Eight, nine, twelve. We have a few twelve-inch you know, bobs. Tens. But remember, you can get like the eight-inch cube to make eight-inch blocks and twelve-inch blocks. That's true. And the six-inch cube can make six-inch blocks and nine-inch blocks and twelve-inch blocks. So I don't think there's really a wrong answer here. I don't think there is. I don't think there is at all. I think the reason is all No one's ever above. asked us that question. That's a great question. I know, that is a really good question. Yeah. I, I don't know. There are so many bobs that I just love. Absolutely. I feel like a lot of them are nine inches. That's true. Yeah, the Hunter Star, I believe, is a nine inch. Well, and... Okay, see, I, right, now I'm, I'm now not I'm, answering I'm, that question. Now I'm going to, yep, I was going to say now I'm going to. Unless gonna I'm thinking about it, <laughs> chances of that answer being wrong are pretty darn good. Exactly. Okay. Oh, Does goodness. our team know off the top of your little beanhead guys? Do you know? Which one would you suggest? Which bob do we have the most of? Nine. What size? Ten, ten, ten. Tens and nine. nines. Uh, eight. I th I th I'm seeing a majority, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. There you go. Quite a few of them. So I'd, you I'd say you're, yeah, you'd be pretty safe to say with any of those four would be great. All right. So here we go. All right. And I'm pressing my seams open so they lay nice and flat. Love that. And my peppermint blocks. So cute. 
All right, Emily, tell us a few more of our favorite applique shapes. Yes, uh, Joanna loves Adita Sitar's Simple Shapes. It's Simple Shapes is so pretty. Yeah, she says it, she likes it because it's extremely versatile. And yes. I agree. You can make lots and lots of different blocks with that. Absolutely. And Lisa loves um, the gingerbread and gnomes. Uh, she gingerbread also- Gingerbread cookie is so cute. It really is. Well, and with those holiday accessories, I yes. feel like that's like the perfect combo. The cookie accessories, yeah. It really is. It yeah, really it's is. cute. And all of those dyes, all the things we're talking about today, I'm pretty sure are 37% off. Yeah, I mean, it's great. You can just go to the item page, and if it's already marked down, then you can use that extra uh, Jolly that 10. Jolly 10 for that extra 10% off your order. I like that. Love that. And even the cutting mats are marked down. I mean, some oh, of them are Oh, today's a great to day to get mats. Yeah, I mean, Filters. it's just a Ooh. great time to stock up. You see up. me just burn my little finger there? Okay. So here are our um, little blocks, okay? And we're gonna lay them out the right way. <laughs> so then I can sew, um, I've sewed some here together, I'll sew these two together and show you how they all work. But you just wanna lay out your block mm -hmm. like this. Look at how fun this is. This is why we practice here. Love that. There, okay? Because remember, we're gonna turn this on Point. Okay, so I'm going to sew these two together and then just finish my block here. Okay, because otherwise you just get to sit and watch me sew. All right. All right, and then we're going to cut some mittens. So we're going to cut our mittens today out of cotton, but you could totally cut your mittens out of lots of different fabrics. You could use flannel or felt or wool. That's actually the perfect timing because, yeah, somebody asked, could I use wool on that? So you, you just can. answered the question. That's awesome. Yep. So when I do this, um, I'm going to, again, look, see the back has so many seams. Mm -hmm. So you just want to press your seams open awesome. and then it's going to line together perfectly. And with colors that are light like this, do you still press kind of to the dark side or does it, does it really So on, on this one, I just pressed everything open. Okay because there were so many seams, but typically, yes, I press to the dark side. Sure. Yeah. And okay. someone's asking about the 12 inch cube, Pam, which I think we How were gonna- How much is the 12 inch cube? It's I, on sale today. I think we were gonna mention that, yeah. That, well, let's the, talk about it. Yeah, the 12 inch um, is on sale today for 195.30. Both companion set, sets are gonna be 126. So the 10 and the 12 are the same price. Mm -hmm. Yes. And next week, we're gonna, okay, spoiler alert, we're gonna make the cutest Santa block on the planet using the cubes, and you need the six and the 12 inch cubes and both their companions. Perfect. It's really fun, okay. So now I'm gonna sew my little peppermint block together. Look at this. It's really so fun. I love it when we can just finish a whole block in one show. I know, you amaze me, Pam. I, it well, me. some days it doesn't work so well. <laughs> you know, I think it was amazing because the cutting part out of making the oven mitts was so quick. It oh, yeah. It was me figuring out how to make sure I'm using my sewing machine properly that right. honestly took me the most time. <laughs> right, and didn't you say how amazed you were at how fast it cut? Oh my gosh, it right? really, I mean, you just, you know, you just crank it through in less than 10 seconds. You're just, you go from, you know, three yeah. layers of fabric to bingo, bingo, bunga, sew it together and you're done. We have seen so many oven mitts on social media. Okay, look how cute my little block is. So I would give it a good press today. I'm going to use um, my shovel iron, but I give it a good press. All right, so let's get our mitten die. We have so many things still to cut. Okay, so the mitten die has all of these shapes. So it has the mitten and the cuff and this little snowflake. And since this snowflake is an embroidery, um, it, or an applique, it has a free embroidery. Now, I have pre-fused my fabric. You can always use six layers of cotton with our dies, but you have to count that fusible as a half a layer of fabric. So you can only cut four mittens. All right, and I've already cut my little cuff right here. I have his fabric here. And then here is my snowflake fabric. This is on a five by 10 die board. Mm -hmm. You want a five by 10 cutting mat. Yes. Okay. And we're gonna run it through our go big because we can. 
And I know I get questions, you know, on customer service about, you know, why do we use the appropriately sized cutting mat? Yes, and why is that, do you know? Well, because if you're gonna use a mat that's too big, it might slide and not, you wouldn't be happy about that. Right, so what happens quilters is, if I were to try to use this, as it goes through the cutter, it's gonna shimmy, and then it's gonna move that fabric underneath, okay? So I have all of my little pieces here, and you're gonna need four mittens and cuffs and snowflakes, okay, for your project, okay? Actually, yes, you only need four. I had to look at that. Now, the rest we're gonna talk about real quick, all right? Now, don't forget all of these videos live on our Facebook and YouTube pages, so you can come back and watch them if you want. Uh, before we cut our next shapes, Emily, talk about our blog. Absolutely, so our blog is a fantastic place to connect with AccuQuilt staff, our go-getters, um, those folks that are behind the scenes, you know, making everything work, designing those exclusive patterns that can only be found on the blog. Yes. Um, and yeah, you're just gonna get a whole wealth of information from there. It's gonna be amazing. Absolutely. All right, and today I'm giving away one of our Go Mitten dies. Be sure to share this video on your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. All right, so now next, um, we're gonna talk about setting triangles and the square that the mitten sits on, all right? So you're gonna need shape number one from the 12 inch cube. Remember all the shapes are the same, so shape number one is a six inch finished square, okay? So I'm gonna use my shape number one. However, you could use four of shape number one from your six inch cube and it would finish to the same size. Mm -hmm. I love how the six and the 12 inch cube work together. They really do. So you have your choice. If you just have the six inch cube and you wanna make those, you can make that four patch, it will finish to a six inch square. I know, but I'm gonna use my go big and I'm gonna use my um, 12 inch cube. And remember next week for our Santa, you're gonna need the, um, okay. I'm gonna show you this one. So. Nice and tight, lots of stretch, low and wonky. This is the lengthwise green. Here's the label, label at my belly, lengthwise green. And you just wanna check all the pieces every time. And I just subcut. you could fan fold if you wanted to. You only need four of them. All right, so here we go. And then um, while you're doing that, Pam, while we're waiting yes. for it to cut, Eileen is looking for a little bit of clarification because we're talking about all these fun embroideries for the yes. gnome. Yes. Um, she says, so it said we can get the embroidery file for free, but where do you locate it? Does that file f come from, um, or sorry, does that file come with the reindeer? So I guess there's a little bit of confusion okay. with free yes. versus so the So we'll talk form. about, let's, that's a great question. Yeah. So we have three free embroidery stitches at AccuQuilt.com. It makes the blanket stitch, the satin stitch, and the motif stitch. And we have it for all of our applique shapes, okay? All three of those stitches. Now our good friends at V-Stitch have created some for purchase um, that are a little more fancy, like um, the reindeer with the gnome or the Santa gnome. Right. Those are all for purchase, all right? So if you want to do that, you can do that. If you don't have an embroidery machine, no worries. You could do a decorative stitch from your machine. You could do raw edge quilting. There are lots of ways to finish applique. And on our website, we have lots of different patterns and quilts that we've done all of those different kinds of finishing with applique. Exactly. So that's a great question. And if you're looking to tell the difference between the two, um, on the embroidery file page itself, uh -huh. it'll either have a price on there or it'll simply say add to downloads, which will allow you to just add that to your download library. There you go. Okay, so now I have to look. So I'm gonna turn, all of my blocks are gonna turn on point. So this is really important, okay? When you add your mitten, you want your block to be turned on point. So you can either use this um, six inch finished block from the 12 inch cube, or you could put four of them together, but either way, boy, that was hard trying to figure that out. Okay, look at our cute little mitten in its cuff, <laughs> okay? And I am gonna eyeball it because I'm all about that, okay? 
So I'm just going to iron it down. Hey, the shovel iron and our little wool pressing mats live on our website. They sure you should do. pick you up one today. Absolutely. I use mine all the time when I'm sitting sewing. Yeah, they're great. Okay. There we go. And I'm gonna oh, I turned it off, which is why it's not hot. There we go. I turned it off so I didn't burn myself when the end of the show came. Uh, okay. Look at this. And the shovel and the clover mini iron right now is on sale. For no, they are not. It is. Oh, okay, quilters, everybody needs to get one. If you do not have a wool mat and a clover iron, mason jar not included, okay? Um, get you one and put it in a mason jar like this and then it won't fall, okay? Yep. So here's my block. I'm gonna take it off. Now the last thing we're gonna cut, Emily, are setting triangles. And I'm gonna okay. talk about where they are in the quilt real quick and then I'm gonna show you how to cut some. Absolutely. Okay, so Justin, I'm gonna venture on back here. So once, normally you just have squares and they're horizontal, but we're gonna turn them on point. So this block here is on point, this block on here is on point. So these triangles right here on the sides, you would have to do crazy math to make that work, and here on the corners. But AccuQuilt has created, um, six different sizes of setting triangles to go with all of our cubes. So this would be the six inch setting triangles. So what you would do is you would sew this corner to the corners and make these rows, right? So start here, make those, so the sides together, side, side, corner, row, corner, side, row, side, side, block, side, and then the corner. Wow. Okay, no Y seams involved, super easy, super cool. And look, um, this one has, can we get a really good shot here, Justin? This has just raw edge quilting, where somebody came in and just stitched across the snowflake. Wow. Look how cute that is. So cool. Okay, so here is a sample of our setting triangles. Again, they come in six sizes. So here is the, here are the sides and here's the corner, okay? And again, you can cut up to six layers. Now for this one, you wanna make sure you have a six by 24 cutting mat. Is that on sale today, Emily? Is that part of the 37% off? The setting triangles. The setting triangles in the mat? They sure are, yep. The cutting mats are all marked down up to 30% off right now. Excellent. With that additional discount. And then um, the setting triangles are also marked down the six inch in particular, only 51.03. Oh my gosh, setting triangles are the best. I, back in the day, okay, I can say this because I can. Um, back in the day before we had setting triangles, I would just make math up. I would just like cut a big square that was bigger and then I would just trim it down, which means the south, which means the green is all wonky and the thing is all ludicrous here. Gosh, and they're so useful. I mean, I remember when we first launched them, they sold like hotcakes. Yes. Everyone was so excited to finally be able to set their tri their uh, quilts oh, on point without doing all that crazy math. Yeah. Okay, so look, here's the corner. Here's where the setting triangles go. Okay, here's the sides, because we're just trying to create a straight edge, right? Oh, I love this. Love that. Okay, so when I would build my block, I would sew the sides first, press my seams um, open, and then add this. And we've cut off the dog ears, so everything is going to line up perfectly. All right. To finish your quilt, you need to use strip dies to make the two borders to finish the top. Layer the top with the batting and the backing, pin or baste. Quilt as desired and add binding. Make sure you miter your corners. Be sure to join Erica and I on Friday, November 26th for a special show at 12 noon Central Time. You'll want to register for the chance to win some prizes. Mm -hmm. Then come by again on Tuesday, November 30th at 12 noon Central Time. We are going to celebrate Giving Tuesday. We have a special guest and an amazing announcement. Register to win our prizes. Don't forget our promo today, 10% off your order of $24 or more. 37% on most of the things on the site. Use that code JOLLY10 and receive double reward points as well. All right, Emily, do you have a winner of our Go Mitten die? We surely do. If I could get a drum roll, please. 
that is Jeannie Whitesell. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jeannie. We're going to reach out to you and send you the cute mitten die. That's exciting. Now, be sure to join our team next week for our AccuQuote Live at 12 noon Central Time as we take a closer look at the Santa block. Our good friend Barbara Harper, she's one of our experts. She created this pattern. You're going to use the 6 and 12 inch cubes and their companions. So today, a great day to pick up those cubes. All right, quilters, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. And I am super grateful for all of the people on our AQ Live team, the people here in the studio with me. Um, we have some people off site. We have people behind the scenes helping us with our promos and making sure all of the information is correct. Huge shout out and thanks to them for all of the hard work they do. And on behalf of our entire team, have a happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you later.